or how you feel about your friends, your your partner's friends. Yeah, you think good luck all that two years when you're supposed to come home be like. I know I'm not coming home because I've decided we are sleeping at Copano's boyfriend's friend. Mm. Boom! You know what I mean? Mm. Then, what the fuck? Yeah. You see yeah. that? Yeah? It's this G for Jesus! <laughs> Just um, a token to show how much I love you. Yeah. If you were to see or to know that your, your close friend's partner is with another person or if you were to see them, mm. would you tell your friend? Let me It'd be out at a party or wherever or a social setting mm. and I would get to hear that no this person has a partner right mm. but in them having a partner mm. they are there with somebody that's not their partner mm. yeah. but also he still prioritizes and makes time for me. It's us again. Hi guys. Yeah. Uh, it's another week, another yeah. brand new week, another episode. Hey, you're not gonna sing welcome and drag. I'm sorry, welcome and drag. Oh, I'm so used to it. Welcome and drag. Welcome and drag and then when I. Yeah. Come on. Welcome and drag. Like I'm putting like a, a stamp of, of affirmation to your welcome and drag. Like, yeah. No. You are good. <laughs> you are better. Welcome back, guys. Hi, guys. You are back. Um, Sorry. You know, I've gone. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome and drag. Welcome back. Sorry, don't mind me. It's just. You know how. Iced coffee. Or uh, apple juice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Or barstool. Just. Yeah. Um, so we are back with another, another episode. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Boom. Boom. Here's boom. some did, money. Did you see that sound? Go buy your mama a house. Did, did you see that sound on Instagram? The new one. No. Like boom, 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 boom. Another one. Another one. And when you keep saying another one, yeah. another one, the pictures change. Oh, we should try that sound. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, but welcome back, guys. We are it happy to be us. back with another episode. Yeah. Uh, today's topic is uh, how we how beautiful gifts woman is. <laughs> no, guys. Okay. No, today. So we've just been, you know, going back and forth about it, and we realized that um, we do do, but we we do sit downs, but we we haven't gotten into like. Deep relationship questions no, really. and have, conversations. Just but forgot. We've been doing we? this for a minute now. Have we? Yeah, guys. It's just, sometimes it's just hard, like when it comes to the type of content we put out there, because we don't want to just put out one thing. And also, we don't want to be it. like the what the other couple next door. Yeah, are doing. You know? doing so unless it's like, if it's something really interesting that catches our attention yes, and we speak about then it. Then we well. will. But we try topics that are. Okay, mostly resonate with both of us, mm -hmm. but also the people that are watching will also like understand yeah. or have a say or an experience of what you're going to talk about. Yeah. So and remember, our what we talk about is not necessarily an advice to anybody. No. no We're not no. relationship experts. No, no, no. Um, also, this may apply to straight, uh, heterosexual, homosexual, anybody. Yeah. yeah so but so. this is remember with everything that we try and talk about it's just us giving our two cents and sometimes mm. we might not fully be exposed to the conversation but opening up the conversation is how you essentially get to learn yeah, you know yeah. um so today we thought of why let's not talk about how your how you feel about your friends your your partner's friends yeah and if you're completely okay with your partner being friends with those people as in you approve or disapprove or if or you approve or dis disapprove and if you do approve or disapprove oh. do you share that with your partner to say you know what i'm okay with you hanging with that person or you know what i am completely not okay with you hanging with that person you mm. know mm. so i think if anything i'd want to find out the reasons as to why you would have reservations about your partner 
being with their friends, mm. right? Mm. So I think for me, or I some think, friends, or some friends. Yeah. I think for me, it's been not only not your friends, but I've just seen it happen out there mm. where. Um, we'd be out at a party or wherever or a social setting mm. and I would get to hear that no this person has a partner right mm. but in them having a partner mm. they are there with somebody that's not their partner mm. and they're having a good time and mingling and it looks very cozy and all of that no no it's just like something I've seen are you gonna tell me off camera or not <laughs> I'll tell you uh, okay. <laughs> you know yeah. and for me that is worrisome mm. and especially if that person was my partner's friend right because mm. mm. the minute now my partner says that i'm going out with x and y right mm. and why i saw him the previous week doing so and so how am i going to be comfortable knowing that okay they'll be on the straight and narrow path altogether but i like you know it's mm. just one of those mm questions and worrisome stuff that would pop into my mind to say damn yeah, yeah. no look um i think it's a great topic conversation yeah also it i think it this happens a lot and maybe let me just put this question out to the people that are watching mm-hmm. this. if you were to see or to know that your 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 your, your close friend's partner um is with another person or if you were to see them mm. would you tell your friend let me just find out that yeah because i know this conversation or this topic or that question has caused a lot of divisions where people are saying you know what just mind your own yeah you know like, um each for their own. Way, the yeah, yeah. Or, but yeah. i mean i think that will also depend on the strength of your relationship of course the glue between the both of you guys will determine whether you speak or not of course if i if if you if i tell you as my friend and you decide I know, dude. You're not good for us because you're telling me things like that. Mm-hmm. Then maybe you, just you and I break us up. Yeah, maybe yeah. you and I shouldn't be friends at, at all. You know? For sure. Because if you don't expect me to be honest with you as a friend, for sure. Then maybe we shouldn't be friends because I don't want to build any friendship relationship based on dishonesty. For because sure. if I'm gonna be suppressing such things to me. Mm. Um, and not saying anything because I think you will think after you tell your partner, your partner, you both of you guys will be thinking, and there's a lot yeah, of thinking that yeah. happening that I'm not a good person. Then kudos, you know. Yeah. Um, I appreciate the friendships that I have, and you know, I've got very little friendships. I've got people, a lot of people that I know, a lot of acquaintances, mm-hmm. but I don't but call all of them my friends. Your circle of friends is tiny. Yeah. When I say friends, I mean someone I can call at 3 a.m. and say, "Dude, I'm not fine. Can we talk?" Mm. You know what I mean? Not someone something, yeah. you know. Uh, not someone that I regard as a as a colleague, not someone I regard as a acquaintance or a neighbor, yeah. you know. So I think um depending on how you know them or how I know them as my friends, mm. as my friends or, mm. or acquaintances, should also form part of your judgment to say. I don't have to worry about this person because I know they're not I friends. Know. They're just boys or they're just girls. Okay. Um, that's how I, at least how I look at it. I'm worried. I'm not worried about some of your friends because I know it's not like they they're tight and I also t- trust you mentally to know mm. yourself to say I, this person I know them. Okay. You know, so I can be so 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 let's let's say I had. A friend that we were close and tight right mm-hmm. and we are complete opposites where this friend of mine would be uh, she lives like she's a night person she mm-hmm. lives out every time clubs partying with different guys here and mm-hmm. there always inviting me to all these social events right mm-hmm. now how would you feel as my man if I told you oh babe I'm going out with my friend who's invited me well you know that she might be more on the wild side of things mm. how would that make you feel uh, look at the end of the day uh, you get to decide you're an adult of course you get to decide how you want to invest your time with people if you would if there could be other reasons why you and those people or that person you guys are close because of something that I do not know yeah there's probably you probably find peace when you are this with this person mm. as 
rebellious as promiscuous as they might be uh, in my own view you still find that comfort in them because when they speak to you maybe they speak some sense into you but because we don't they... look for the same things from friends but is there no uncomfortability in your it will always thought? It will always be there and I'll give you an example. Uh, no, babe, Copa, no, and her boyfriend and the boyfriend's friend are coming to pick up, pick me up. Yeah, no. Do you know what yeah, I mean? That and one I'm, is... You see, uh, if, 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 let's say, let's use her as an example. If she was that type of a person and she's coming to pick you up with the boyfriend. Mm. Um, then and the boyfriend's friend then in my own mind because of I already know how she behaves mm. you they are probably bringing someone worried. for you maybe about yes. Telamutu because I'm not there yes. I mean two guys and your friend that are coming to pick you up why about like for what reason yeah why can't they drop off this person first but if I already trusted your friend mm. I don't even have to worry if there were 10 guys and you are just sure. the two of you guys sure. because I already trust her sure. and remember trust is something that um, it comes from me. I can just look at them and be like, I, okay, maybe I can trust this person mm. um, and how they behave and whatnot, whatnot. But yeah, I don't think I can completely say, no, 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 you can't go. Because then tomorrow morning you'll write a thread and say that you and I, I was controlling. Yeah, and then I couldn't live my the life. The next thing, one Sunday morning, I'm trending the top of the list. <laughs> Musa Kaula is writing about me because I was controlling you not to go wherever. And no, emotionally abusive. Emotionally abusive, you know, you know. But you know yeah. what? Do you, boo? Do you? But knowing that you're an adult and whatever. Yeah, you know what you And you whatever do. results you do mm, are going to have consequences. Exactly. It might be good, it might be bad. Yeah. If there's a place, let's say, I know you want to go to and I don't like this place or I don't think this place is safe for you, I'll still tell you that, that you know you're what? Not you can go, but just know that I'm not comfortable. Okay. Forget approving because who am I to approve and disapprove what you must do with your own life? Of course. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got 50 liters of water and, and blood in your system that belongs to you. I did not contribute to that. So why must I now control this body of yours where you take it and where you don't take it? Okay. So... Alright. Yeah. Um, with that, while you were talking, like a question came into my head, right? Mm -hmm. To say the circle of friends you have as tight knit you know others could have like one friend and that's yeah. enough for them others might have like a huge group and that also works mm -hmm. for them and there's let's say the circle of trust right mm -hmm. um my now question is how far mm -hmm. or do you disclose to your friends mm -hmm. about the sensitive stuff that take place in your relationship with your partner Someone is knocking. Pause. Uh, okay. Yeah, so sorry about that. Um, yeah. We're back. We had a technical glitch. We apologize. <laughs> Our technician, technicians are working on it. They're fixing it. Uh, you are Those colors. Fact checker. Are you, are you with that? Oh, wow. mm. um, yeah, do you remember what I asked? Uh, no. Oh my god, I hope I can remember. So I was asking you, yes, that you have your circle of friends, yeah. right? Whether big or small, and you trust and you know that your guys' glue is strong. Mm. How far or do you share with your friends the most sensitive parts of your relationship? Like, there might be maybe. I don't know if I can say no, a bit of uncertainty I, between you and I yeah. and you feel like you want to go talk to your boy to try and figure things out yeah like do you do that I do okay uh, but not with just everybody I, sure. I share with someone that I can trust yeah uh, and when I say trust it's how they make me feel it's not what they said trust me no mm. so yeah I do but I, I'm very limiting also I don't worry a lot about things I cannot change. So by telling them, I don't think it will change so much, you know? Okay. But if I feel that I need to share and put it down on the table, I will probably do that. But I'm not a big fan of that. Like 2% mm -hmm. I share. The rest is just generic conversations between guys, between girls. Mm -hmm. um, I know this, this bend, you know? But it's not something I fully go on, mm -hmm. lay all the cards down. Mm -hmm. no, no. No, never that. Okay. Now, from you, your point, right? It's in my interview, guys. 
tune in. Well no, done. guys, look, I think if anything, I have and most of the viewers as well who would be females, mm. they'd have questions for guys that mm -hmm. they can never get answered, you yeah. know? Yeah. So sometimes getting just a main a men's perspective, yeah, like it helps a lot, right? But yeah. this is just it's not a question like an interview for you, but for all you guys as well yeah. to just answer. What where do you draw the line with your partner to say no to this friendship? Like, what is it that if I think you... this is what where I'll draw the line? Yeah. If I see that this person is constantly putting you un under some certain of vulnerability or some danger of some sort, um, or exposing you to stuff that may cause some harm to you, yeah. then I'll say no. And then if you insist on continuing with whatever it is, then it's either That's me or them. No, it's either me or them. It's either you choose them or you oh, choose me. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, sometimes I will, I will see what's good for you and what's not good for you. Yeah. And by that, I don't mean I will say, no, 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 not this club, but this club. Mm -hmm. But I will probably process, if you're telling me, no, I want to go out, I'll start thinking, okay, you're driving alone with a friend. Is there enough parking there? Is it safe parking? That's one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you know, are, are the toilets clean there? Are you able gonna find your way out yeah. out are of you there going to when be people are? If yeah, if you, are you gonna be drinking? Yeah. Are, you, are you are you planning on coming home after the lunch yeah. or are you going clubbing somewhere? Yeah. That stuff is stuff that I need to always think about. You know what I mean? Sure. So, uh, if if stuff like that is constantly happening, then I will probably say, I know, I'm I'm not comfortable about this. Depending on how that makes you feel, mm. then it should determine the, the future for the both of us with around this whole topic. Of course. Of course. But no, yeah. I hear you. Look, uh, for me, I've... Oh, she's showed them your nails, Oh, uh, 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 she's, she's got new nails. Show them. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, they can see. Yes, you see that? Yeah? It's this G for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was really cute. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, just a um, token to show how much I love you. Yeah. So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. um, you personally. Yeah. When you look at your your when you look at me mm -hmm. and the spaces that i find myself into mm -hmm. and uh, I, this is this question is based on jealousy like what is yeah. what jealousy means yeah. to you yeah. do you somehow feel like you don't trust that i will be mentally strong uh, to handle uh the situations i find myself into or do you just look at the people and be like, I can't trust them? Like, oh, I just, I'm trying to figure I out. Think, like, I think. Yeah. Also, so, I just wanted to ask you. <laughs> just to balance it out. Yeah. Look, I th for me, I think if, especially in the space where you're at when mm. it comes to work, right? Mm. Mm. Um, it's it's bound for your partner to obviously have some sort of reservations and wonder and question right yeah. not just question your friends but even yourself okay. to say okay this person is putting themselves in this kind of predicament and uh do i trust and feel like i'm okay with them being there without me do mm. i constantly want to be with that person so that i can make sure that they're always on the right track mm. right which yeah. is impossible you can't constantly live like that honestly it's unfair on you yeah very much so uh but i think for me if anything um this is where communication comes in but also reassurance mm. you know um and also getting to hear where your state of mind is at from the conversations that we have i can pick up for okay this is where this guy is at his headspace lee if tomorrow he leaves goes out there i know that he is going to do what is right and expected knowing that no you, you're losing it no am i yeah i want to understand in terms of jealousy where at, at, at what point do you get jealous at some point do you get jealous and what they call him and be like, I know I shouldn't because I'm just now acting out of my emotions. Okay. Or do you get jealous because you like, um, hey, I don't like the situation, whatever it is happening. Hey, young, I this I think, it's coming, what's happening? I think if my jealousy would kick in, it would kick in if I, you now get 
consumed with where you are all particular times and I feel like I'm not getting your attention anymore. So you're jealous because of work? Not of work. Like I get that okay you have to work. Yeah. But I would hope that you balance everything out on Talhain. Yeah. Now we have to prioritize and also I have to prioritize my time with you because this constantly work. Mm. I would hope that you'd be able to balance it out. Even if and you're working at that space, right? Mm. Just come once in a while and check up, babe, are you okay? Okay, cool, then continue doing your thing. But if in that whole space of four hours, you're constantly working and I don't get for you, like you don't come and check up on me, now I get like, oh my gosh, now I'm competing. You see now, this is where, which brings me to my next point. There's spaces where if work is work, then let's not mix the two. Then that is when you learn how I eat it that I'll stay home and you'll go to you. Exactly. Yes. So it, this is not different from from someone who has a nine to five. Yes. I get it if not take your girl's child to work with me. <laughs> only once yeah, a year. Yeah. So the fact that you you only see this person fully Friday uh, Saturday and Sunday mm. is what the whole world is doing. Yeah. But because now you're self-employed, mm. it doesn't mean that that, that has to change. Mm. Because now you're self-employed. Mm. That change when the minute that changes, then it means you are gonna drop the ball because you are now tr trying to balance your your lifestyle with work and it can never be the same. Mm. The other one will always be high if there is work. Yeah. If there isn't work, then this one will, will take center stage. Sure. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of people out there they like. Uh, we've seen TV or everyone. Mm. My husband or my wife is not looking after me because they're always working. He's because always they are working. Do, I don't like this. I don't like this because. Mm. And then they end up saying, "Okay, you can't take a job wherever in whatever place because you, then you'll be too you'll far be from too me, far or then we won't talk and whatnot, whatnot, sure. whatnot." Then what what happens is like, oh, "Okay, sharp. You know what? Let me not take the job and be home, right? Or close by." Yeah. And now you start finding yourself in a situation where you are now probably fed up with seeing this person too close to too you now because time. because they're not doing but remember the first decision they took was because you said they must be here yeah look I've, I've, I've i haven't been fully in that situation but what i'm saying i'm not necessarily saying that the scales must be balanced fully mm -hmm. but i'm just saying that allow like if you are working how many hours you're working mm. i'm sure in that many hours that you're working you're able to take just two minutes to check up on your partner mm -hmm. like god expects you to do that sure you know sure. but when that fully doesn't happen at all mm. then that's when my concern comes to say but you're constantly working like you you're working you never have time for me now you want to go work further from me and while you were here at home mm. you never check up on me again i think that is when i'll be mm. like no 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 it's not cool and i do understand because lena like i'm sure everyone we've mostly been in a position where mm. work has had has come and then your your social life and everything else mm. had to kind of you know like you, take a bit of a you don't get to see your friends anymore you don't get to do dates as much as you would or whatever mm. but that comes with understanding to say the time that I have that is limited, I will give to my partner or I will give to whatever it is that is important that I feel like I'm lacking or slacking on. Mm. You know, I mm. don't know if you got. No, I I, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm cool. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. No, I think that's just the gist of it yeah so how do you guys uh, do it in your relationships just let us yeah, know while yeah. you're trying to let us know uh hit the like button subscribe yeah. button and follow comment us and comment and whatnot yeah. but Cause, yeah because sorry just to finish it off because um this i think this conversation is very important especially uh people would know that you're in the influencer space you're into mm. you know like it's more not day job but like, I don't know if you say afternoon or evening. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, you know, kind it's of, freelance work. Yeah, but like the times that it happens is not the normal 9 to 5 most of the time. Yeah. You know, and yeah. even weekends, they're not weekends where you're free at home. So, um, I think this conversation has been very important to me as well to kind of understand mm. and hear 
the questions that you had because mm. it it hasn't been easy for fact it hasn't been easy but i also had to sit myself down reflect on why exactly why he's doing this what's the goal and he shared the goals with me as well you know so i know that all of this at the end is going to have an outcome that's going to pay for the both of us something that we're both going to be happy at the end of it yeah. but also he still prioritizes and makes time for me you know um, as it should i mean when when you pick someone as a partner or life partner whether life permanent temporary whatever mm. the reason why you, they call partners is because you can rely on them in many aspects for sure. and they and vice versa for which sure. i would assume so if there's anything that will separate you guys has to be work yeah anything else then surely things can be moved around but it, it had to come with understanding as well because look you'd sometimes come home late in the evenings right mm. Mm. and sometimes that it gets to our mood pila because it's like i know he's constantly out late nah, 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 yeah, but you must remember nah, nah, this person nah, 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 was here up until three o'clock you know yeah but it's it's a thing of i had to readjust and and learn and get to understand it just didn't happen to say oh no i know that he's not gonna be here ah, yeah, you know i just had to yeah. re-evaluate because also the nightlife is a scary life whether we want to hear it or not the nightlife is very scary um there's a lot of things that are happening mm. and just thinking of okay who this could happen that could happen la, 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 you know yeah. but um yeah no i but, think yeah. having to communicate with your partner through each and every situation or problems or even the smallest of things that might look small because it can bubble up and become big communicate yeah. talk have an open space have a space where you can both say what you feel like freely yeah. and get to an understanding yeah and that's just it yeah yeah Yeah. Thank you. Follow us. Uh, we'll follow you. And yeah, we hope that you enjoyed this episode. Tell us what you think of what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh tell us what you think how it's going in your how relationship. It's going. Mm-hmm. Which one is this what, one now? What challenges? You know? Like what 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 are you struggling to talk about with your partner and sure. all of that? Maybe it's some of the things that we overlook as well and yeah. it could create a whole other conversation. Of course. But uh thank you for constantly giving us your support, your love. We truly appreciate yeah. the appreciate likes, it. the comments, everything. And if you're watching this up until here, it means then, that hey, you are the real one, eh? If you're here for the first time, then we hope you stay. <laughs> subscribe. There's a subscribe button there. Well. If you've been here, then we'll come back. Yeah, we hope to see you again on the next episode. Yeah, and we we'll recommend that you watch other stuff that follow. We've got other stuff happening here. Yeah, but yeah. thank you guys so much. Um have yourselves a great day. week.